Okay, so welcome to this third video on uh, bacterial charity and uh, norfloxacin resistance in Escherichia coli. Okay, so uh, we've seen so far that in these, uh, these E. coli bacteria, uh, which are on this E. coli culture plate here, which are resistant to norfloxacin, the power of norfloxacin is not going to work, basically. These ones are still going to continue uh, in, with protein synthesis, and they're going to produce this enzyme, TNAA, uh, or, which is a tryptophanase. The tryptophanase is going to convert the amino acid tryptophan here into um, indole and pyruvic acid and also an ammonia molecule. And all it needs to do that is a water molecule, basically. Okay, now, what's going to happen is that this uh, bacterium, this resistant bacterium, this high-resistance isolate, is going to start releasing indole into the surroundings. So it's releasing indole, basically. And the indole goes to the other bacterium, uh, bacteria on this plate, which are not resistant to norfloxacin. So if I took this less resistance isolate, uh, less resistant isolate, I think that should be, less resistant isolate, let me change these names, less resistant isolate. If I took this less resistant isolate, put it on an agar plate on its own, with the norfloxacin, then its protein synthesis will be completely inhibited, basically. But, if I put this on a plate with this high resistance uh, isolate, uh, which, um, uh, which is resistant to norfloxacin, so if I took this bacterium and put it on a plate on its own, it would be fine. Its protein synthesis would not be inhibited. So it's still producing proteins. It produces this tryptophanase, and now it sends out this indole. And basically, this indole goes to the uh, less resistant uh, isolate, and causes it to become resistant to norfloxacin. And the way that it is believed to cause resistance uh, in this less resistant isolate is that it causes the export of um, drug resistant, uh, well, dr drug efflux pumps, basically. So, inside the cytoplasm of the E. coli, in fact, I'm going to draw a bigger picture of this down here. So, let's say this is our less resistant isolate. So, this is a bacterium that, if I put it on the plate on its own, would not be resistant to norfloxacin. It would feel it completely. It would be completely susceptible. But, in its cytoplasm, it's believed to have, in vesicles, stored um, pro, uh, drug efflux pumps, basically, which are capable of pumping norfloxacin out of the cell. They're just not in the cell membrane at the moment, okay? And I want to stress that these drug efflux pumps, their only fun their function in the, in the E. coli is not merely to transport norfloxacin out. Generally, they have much more wide-ranging uh, functions than that, and they just happen, one of their many functions just happens to be uh, to transport norfloxacin out. So this is a drug efflux pump. And basically, when this cell receives indole, uh, what it does is it is believed to export these drug efflux pumps into its cell membrane, okay? So now, what's going to happen is this uh, bacterium is going to have these drug efflux pumps in its cell membrane because of the indole signal it received from those high-resistant isolates, which were completely resistant to norfloxacin on their own, basically. And now, uh, these uh, drug refl uh, efflux pumps are going to pump the norfloxacin out of the cell, and that is going to start leading to this less resistant isolate becoming resistant to norfloxacin because it's going to be able to pump the drug out of its cytoplasm, basically. So, this is what's known as bacterial charity because the... Um, res the um, bacteria which are already resistant to norfloxacin and are not having its, their protein synthesis at all inhibited by uh, the norfloxacin, they produce this tryptophanase 
which produces this indole, and they send the indole to the less resistant uh, isolates, these bacterium which, if I put them on a plate on their own, would be completely susceptible to the norfloxacin. But if they're on a plate with these resistant strains, these high resistant isolates, uh, then they'll receive indole from those high resistant isolates, and the indole will cause the exporting of drug efflux pumps from the cytoplasm into uh, the cell membrane of these uh, less resistant isolate bacteria. And then these drug efflux pumps will export the uh, norfloxacin out of the cell. And so these bacteria that would have been completely susceptible to norfloxacin if they'd been on their own in this world, um, are no, are no longer susceptible to norfloxacin because they've now got these drug efflux pumps which are pumping it out of the cytoplasm and therefore these are made resistant to the norfloxacin by being next to these charitable um, these charitable um, uh, E. coli bacterium which are already resistant to the norfloxacin and which are, are sending messengers to help the others become uh, resistant to norfloxacin, and that's why it's known as bacterial charity.